Yo, what is up guys? So for today we're going to be looking at the armor from the dungeon for the warlocks this time. And I'm not going to lie, I think most of these are pretty cool. Just that warlocks, you guys suffer from like the dumbest stuff. So let's look right into it. So first and foremost, I think the one, the weakest part for me is probably the boots, the arms, and the bond. The helmet has some unfortunate problems and the chest piece also has some unfortunate problems. So you guys will probably know from the last episode, I think it's the last episode, either that, no, yeah. I said that white usually is not that big a deal for me because white's really easy to meld with other colors. That, that still holds true. But the amount of white this has is a little too much for me. It's a little bit overbearing for me, in my opinion. Because you have it pretty much everywhere. On, so let's let's look at the armor real quick. So this is a helmet real quick. I think this helmet looks cool aside from all this green. But I mean, that's with all of the helmets. So that I can't really knock them off for that. The one thing I will say that's kind of unforgivable, in my opinion, is the fact that this does not change color. The horn and the white here does not change color. That's like just forever there so that kind of bugs me i'm not gonna lie with you guys but i think the arms are pretty cool unfortunately arms are not like they used to be in destiny one in destiny one it wasn't just arms it was literally uh your your shoulders as well something will pop up on your shoulders like that's unfortunate because i think these would have been really cool with like a maybe an arm like a armor set down here for these arms specifically not gonna lie though i'm probably still gonna use this mostly because i still like i still, still think the, the arms look really cool chest piece is the one that i think is kind of like <sighs> on one hand i like it i like everything like chest up i think looks cool che uh, waist down it looks it looks bad like i don't know what it is but I don't like it. I like. I don't like it. The gray here does not change color. If the gray here does not change color, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get wild. Wow. So the gray does not change color. Let me see. So yeah, it's only the gray down here. I'm guessing these as well, maybe. No, those change color too. It's unfortunate that this right here does not change color. These. Two right here don't change color that does not change color and the bottom ones don't change color either so that's unfortunate there's a speckle right there <laughs> connected to the armor as well it's unfortunate i think the chest piece could have been really cool if it didn't have so much fucking da uh, dado stuff i think the dado is what really kills me like i think just slash one like this dado out and then maybe this one right here and then this one right here leave the two white spots there leave like maybe dado like there and then maybe dado like right here small i think that would have been r way better but it's like can you tell this is dado can you tell if you can't well that's fine because we can get to the legs which say day toe i that's what kind of kills me for this armor set is that it's just dado everywhere and it, it didn't have to be like that just give us some cool pants like i'm not of the mindset that oh pants are useless i'm not not that i'm not there yet i do think some look cool and some don't look cool like for real z like i think these look cool as fuck if the gold changed color it would probably be my favorite i think these are cool i think the i think these are cool even though they look exactly the same as their legendary counterpart like Look at this one, looks fire, especially with an actual color. No. Oh. Yeah, look, that, that looks fire. So, it's just unfortunate that, you know, all of this is just dado everywhere. A lot of fucking white. Not only that, the Moonfang Bond is kind of pathetic in my opinion. It's just a... It's just that. You want to see the fucking... One of the basic bitch bonds you get? Let me see. Nah, I went to the wrong one. This almost looks like that. It's just a bond. Like, that's... 
I know it doesn't look exactly like that, but I'm that's like I'm saying it's just it looks basic as fuck, man. Like aside from the the sh like the highlight of the dado symbol, it's just it's bland. I think the warlocks and this is not like hard at all. Like this is easy. Like they lost. This is bad. The helmet's cool, but unfortunately the white does not change color. I think the arms are probably the coolest part. The chest piece too much fucking white and then this gray color does not change color the pants too much dado like on one pants or then me or maybe like dado on like small right here would have been cool but on both legs on each side it's like a little extra if you guys hear bells it's my my kitten i got a kitten so i do apologize i'm not gonna make this video all over again uh and the bond's just basic i think this is this is bad. Like, it looks cool together, but I'm never going to use this aside from the arms and maybe the helmet on other pieces. So, that's the Dato armor. If you like it, let me know in the comments below. Let's look at the Trials of the Nine armor, which, ah, oh man, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Uh, actually, before I show you this, I should show you how all the armor shaders. That way, if you are a warlock and you are deciding whether or not you want to use this armor, here it is. Like I said, white doesn't change color. Green does not change color there, but that's not that's not new to warlocks themselves. It's just something everyone has. And then envious touch, which again, the lack of armor really just blows my mind. So yeah, I me personally, I probably like I said, I will probably will never wear this armor aside from maybe the arms. And even then, the arms change colors so. If I'm going for an asymmetrical look, I'd probably go for that. The helmet, on the other hand, I like it a lot. I like it a lot, man. Like, it looks really cool. So I might, I might scoop the helmet for other pieces, but I still have not figured out how my warlock will look. So now let's, let's go to the Trials of the Night Armor, which I think looks fucking bad. Not gonna lie. So let's do the shaders first so you guys can see. There's a lot of blue on this. I don't think the helmet fucking changed that all either. So I think the arms are the only piece that actually change that are worth giving a shit. The pants look bad. The chest looks cool, kind of, until you see the blue and then you can never see it. I think, yeah, obviously the gloves are probably the coolest part because they actually change color. The bond, whatever. There's a bunch of fucking blue. Like, it's... I don't know what the fuck happened, but I just hate that you can't change the color. Like, I'd be so okay with this armor if, or any of the Trials of the Nine armor if you could just change the fucking color of the blue. Like, ah. Uh. And I remember, I remember when they were saying, oh, Trials of the Nine armor is coming back. I was like, that's cool, I guess. Like, I'm never going to wear it. It's mostly just for collectors, for collecting's sake, but whatever. Cool. Like that looks cool only because it goes with the color and not even that much. It's like, oh, like it's a, it's, it's almost the same tune, I guess. So let's look at the helmet first. Helmet, I think is pretty fire actually. Uh, if it wasn't for the blue that did not change color, I know it's very minimal, but I still see it. So if it wasn't for that, I'd, I'd be rocking the shit out of this. That's a weird, weird color. It's like dark blue. Very cool, again, if the blue changed color with it, I'd be so down with it. I think I, I think this helmet looks really cool. I would use it for a few pieces that I've been thinking about using, but unfortunately, it does not change color. I think, obviously, the gauntlets are probably the best part of it, mostly because it actually changes color, all of it. There's no blue on it, so that's really cool. It's immediately, like, probably gonna, I'm probably gonna use this set, or this armor piece for other pieces. My only concern is that this part right here looks ugly. <laughs> That's it. The chest piece is the grossest part of the whole thing, I think, in my opinion, mostly because you can't change the color of the blue. And the blue is like, not only is it the front, it's down here with the tabard thing, and then the back here, plus the symbols. It's it's all bad. I think it's, it's, I think it's straight caca. So I would love for Bungie to just go through the, some of the old armor or just any armor that has pieces that don't have that you can't change the color of just go back and just change it like i don't understand why we can't have that like dude is the designer really that hell bent on keeping the blues like oh i need the blue there all the time like come on man the legs i think are 
straight fucking garbage and if you want to fight me on that that's a weird hill to die on but there you go i think it's just bad i think it uh it adds nothing to the chat to the actual armor set just looks like uh, some dingy shit that they picked up and i don't like it the bond is just a regular bond there's nothing cool about it it would have been cool if like the symbols were actually highlighted kind of like how they're doing now with bonds or you know just if the bond kind of was the symbols in some way it would have been cool but I'm, i don't know just honestly i'm just kind of not really impressed with the armor for the warlocks unfortunately and that's not just like just these two armor sets a lot of the warlock armors are not that great aside from like three or four here and there I still am not even decided how my warlock's gonna look and that's the problem like I think I have this so far but I have to change the blue because or I have to change this to that and then change the color to like match that hopefully if not I'm probably not gonna do that uh, because if you guys don't know I'm going for like a whole dungeon uh, dungeon emblem look because I got the obviously I got the dungeon emblem for prophecy so yeah, my warlock's still not done. Uh, my my titan, my hunter, I think I think they're done. So once I'm done with my warlock, I'm gonna be doing those videos where I show my guardians at the middle or end of the season. Which hopefully I'll have that video up soon. So if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, things are in the description below. Let me know your thoughts about the armor sets in the comments below. Do you guys like it? Do you do you guys think it's fire? Am I an idiot? Let me know in the comments and. Obviously, be safe out there, guys. You know what's happening in the world. Just make sure you guys are safe and healthy, and I'll see you guys later.